Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Despite our best efforts, there are still certain locations on the planet that were prohibited to visit. Gates of Hell, the secret underground bunkers, a military base housed by evil spirits, the Doomsday Vault, and many more. But let's start with Demilitarized Zone. Now, which Demilitarized Zone is more popular than Korea's? The Demilitarized Zone is a region on the Korean Peninsula that separates North Korea from South Korea. The 250 kilometers long and 4 kilometers wide zone serves as a buffer zone between the two countries. It incorporates territory on both sides of the ceasefire line as it existed at the end of the Korean War. The areas north and south of the border are heavily fortified, though skirmishes between the two sides are rare. The border between North and South Korea is closed, meaning that nobody can cross the border between the two Koreas. There's no way to travel directly from South Korea to North Korea or the other way around. Secret Museum of the Vatican Religion secrets are some of the most well-guarded in the world, and the Vatican Apostolic Archive is no exception. The Vatican's vaults hold centuries worth of secrets, evidence of demons, extraterrestrials, and even the Church's purported role in mid-century fascism have all been suggested as possibilities for what lies underneath. They say the letters hidden there are so confidential and conspiratorial that if the general public would get access to it, it would change their perception of history. One such hearsay is about the documents found in the secret archives relating to Pope Pius XII and his connection to Hitler during World War II. Some even say that he was working with Germany at that time. So imagine what more sinister secrets could be hidden there. The Gate of Hell Do you guys know that Turkmenistan literally has a door to hell? Yeah, I'm not kidding. Just look at this. Darvaza Gas Crater, also known as the Door to Hell, or Gates of Hell, is a burning natural gas field near Darvaza, Turkmenistan. The history of how the crater ignited has not been discovered, as some facts are disputed. One of the most popular theories is that Soviet geologists intentionally set it on fire in 1971 to prevent the spread of methane gas, and it's thought to have been burning continuously ever since. The hot spots range over an area with a width of about 200 feet and to a depth of about 66 feet. Its fiery glow can be seen for miles around, but as expected, a place that is literally a fire hole is prohibited for a commoner to visit. The president of the country has announced his plans to extinguish the enormous fire crater. Colonel Sanders' Secret there's nothing quite like that finger-licking good fried chicken from KFC. Xander's original recipe of 11 herbs and spices is one of the most famous trade secrets in the catering industry, even after all these years. In fact, Sanders came up with the idea to have two different companies make part of the recipe so no one company would ever have the entire thing. Wicked! The copy of the recipe signed by Sanders is held safe inside a vault in KFC's Louisville headquarters along with 11 vials containing the herbs and spices. To maintain the secrecy of the recipe, half of it is produced by Griffith Laboratories before it's given to McCormick, who adds the second half. Even though the former KFC owner John Y. Brown Jr. called it a brilliant marketing ploy, so one can't say anything for sure. Many people have claimed to crack the secret recipe, but the company claims no one has been successful in cracking the secret recipe. WikiLeaks Swedish Bunkers WikiLeaks, the international organization that publishes leaked documents classified by governments and corporations, has moved a portion of its servers to a data center in an underground nuclear bunker in Sweden. Yet yeah, the 12,000 square foot bunker was literally designed to withstand a nearby hydrogen bomb explosion. WikiLeaks has released thousands of classified U.S. government documents jeopardizing Washington's relations with other nations. The Pine and White Mountain Data Center, once a Cold War era bunker and nuclear shelter, is now home to one of the most sensitive data centers in the world. The place literally looks like something straight out of a science fiction or espionage film. Just imagine what kind of sinister top secret files WikiLeaks have access to. That's why it's super secure. Yeah, you can't get in. Shanghai Complex 
If there will be any nuclear fallout, all of China's top leadership will hide in the Shanghai complex. Now, what is this complex? Turned out that it was a massive underground bunker complex capable of sheltering 200,000 people from a nuclear attack. The complex covers 90,000 square meters. Water, power, and ventilation systems can support the bunker's population for about two weeks. It was made after the era of the Cold War. Well, we're not going to lie, that time was hard for everyone. The complex would protect Beijing's population and allow government officials to evacuate in the event of an attack on the city. Rich and powerful, always thinking about themselves. Camp Hansen The single most haunted residence in the whole United States military was base housing. For a long time, no one lived there, and the structure was apparently utilized for storage, since no one could stand to be there. An Air Force officer was claimed to have slaughtered his entire family there before killing himself in the 1970s. The next military family to move into the residence faced conflict and paranoia until the family's father stabbed everyone. As a result, it turned into a storage shed. However, the home continued to torment people. Passersby reported hearing children weeping, weird laughter, and a woman washing her hair in the abandoned house's sink in one case. Aokigahara Forest Aokigahara is a dense forest at the base of Mount Fuji in Japan. The foliage there is so thick, it's become known as the Sea of Trees. It is one of the world's most prevalent suicide spots. The situation is so serious that the signs at the head of some trails urge suicidal visitors to think of their families and contact a suicide prevention association. Japanese spiritualists believe that the suicides committed in the forest have permeated the trees, generating paranormal activity and preventing many who enter the forest from escaping its depths. Getting out of this jungle is almost impossible. People carry tape with them around trees in order to make their way safely out. But some daredevils camp out in the middle of the forest to see if the forest is really haunted or not. Oiranbuchi Bridge the Oiranbuchi Bridge is considered one of Japan's most dangerous locations. The story begins in the 16th century, when the Takeda clan owned gold mines in the area as well as brothels to keep the laborers happy. Eventually, the mine began to run dry, so decisions were made to close the mine. The Takeda clan evacuated the area after the Battle of Nagashino, but not before killing all the prostitutes to prevent them from sharing information about the mines. The prostitutes were invited onto the bridge and the ropes were slashed. The wails and cries of the women are claimed to be audible from the gorge below. Banger Fort In 1573, the king of Amber Kachwaha built the Banger Fort for his youngest son. Bangar is popularly recognized as India's most haunted place, but once it was a thriving historical town. The fort of Bangar used to be a wonder of beauty and might before it was reportedly deserted overnight. Bangar was said to be home to around 10,000 people. The most popular of the numerous Bangar myths told by the people is that Emperor Mano Singh, who created the city with the blessing of Guru Balunath, a saint who used to meditate there, the saint agreed on the condition that the emperor's palace's shadow should never fall at his place. If it were to happen, the city would be destroyed. When the palace was finished, Guru Balu's refuge was regrettably overshadowed by the palace. After incurring the saint's wrath, Bangar became a cursed city that could never be rebuilt since no constructions were ever able to finish there. It's worth mentioning that Guru Balu Nath's tomb can still be seen among the ruins. Tomb of Qin Shi Huang, China For more than 2,000 years, the mausoleum of China's first emperor Qin Shi Huang has been hidden deep beneath a pyramid. The discovery of this tomb has been one of China's most important findings, yet historians and archaeologists are still confused by it. Archaeologists have found about 2,000 clay soldiers and expect that there are another 8,000 still to be uncovered. Despite the excavation, the Chinese government has forbidden archaeologists from touching the central tomb with Qin Shi Huang's body, which has been closed since 210 BCE. The tomb's inside is locked up and undiscovered. People believe that opening the tomb will lead to catastrophic events that will lead to the end of the world. The burial location is thought to have been left with a number of items that Qin Shi Huang will require in the afterlife. To show respect for the ancient site, 
the Chinese government decided to ban any digging of Qin Shi Huang's tomb. As a result, the site is banned from the general public. Paveglia Island Paveglia is a small island located between Venice and Lido in the Venetian Lagoon in northern Italy. A small canal divides the island into two separate parts. The island first appeared in the historical record in 421 and was populated until the residents fled warfare in 1379. It's been said that over the years, 160,000 people have lived and died there. In 1793, the island was designated as a quarantine station and for the next two decades it housed bubonic plague patients. There were so many individuals who perished there that it was estimated that up to 50% of the island's soil contains human remains. Paveglia's terrible past didn't end when the quarantine station closed in 1814. In the 1920s, a mental institution operated on the property, swiftly earning a reputation for the cruel treatment of inmates. After a few decades, the hospital closed and the island is now mostly restricted to visitors except for the occasional ghost hunters. North Brother Island An abandoned quarantine island can also be found in New York City. North Brother Island, located in the East River, became the site of a hospital for contagious patients in the late 1800s. Its most famous case was Typhoid Mary, the first known asymptomatic carrier of the bacteria that causes typhoid fever in the United States. While working as a cook in the early 1900s, Mary Mallon unintentionally spread the disease, making many people sick. After the initial outbreak, she was confined for three years on North Brother Island, and when she was finally released, she went back to cooking and infected even more people. In 1915, Mary was sent to the hospital against her choice, where she remained until her death in 1938. The abandoned island has been virtually untouched in half a century and is strongly believed to be haunted by her spirit. If you want to visit the island, you need permission from the New York Parks Department. Lascaux Caves, France This place is like a jackpot for historians. The Lascaux Caves in southern France are home to a series of spectacular Paleolithic paintings that are said to be as old as 20,000 years. Stags, cattle, bison, cats, and other animals are shown in the murals that cover the cave's walls. The most amazing of all the paintings, however, can be seen in the Hall of the Bulls, which is noted for its four bull murals, one of which is 17 feet long. A boy named Marcel Ravidat's dog accidentally fell in a hole on September 12, 1940 and discovered the entrance to the Lascaux Cave. They entered the cave by a shaft that was 50 feet deep. The teenagers realized that the cave walls were filled with animal drawings. Unfortunately, the caverns had been closed to the public since the 1960s due to fungal and black mold infestations, both of which are harmful to human health. Moreover, human presence is thought to be damaging to works of art. Doomsday Vault A resource critical to humanity's future hides deep under an ice mountain on an island above the Arctic Circle between Norway and the North Pole. The Global Seed Vault in Spitsbergen, part of Norway's Svalbard archipelago, has millions of seed varieties from over 930,000 species of food crops. It's a giant safe deposit box that houses the world's biggest collection of agricultural biodiversity. The Global Seed Vault has been termed the Doomsday Vault, conjuring up images of a seed reserve for use in the event of apocalypse or global calamity. The seeds lying in the deep freeze of the vault include wild and old varieties, many of which are not in general use anymore. Crates of seeds are sent to the Doomsday Vault for long-term storage from all corners of the planet. On certain days, the vault gets exclusively available to distinguished guests. Bohemian Groove This is a 2,700-acre campground in California, in the United States, where the members of the Bohemian Club gather each year. The club is noted for being an all-male gathering of the world's most elitist and powerful people that meets every year in mid-July for a two-week encampment. There's very little information available regarding this group, which has inspired numerous rumors. Some claim that all of the men engage in binge drinking, drug use, and rave parties. Others claim that it's used for evil purposes and strange rituals. I really hope nothing like the Squid Game happens there. Only members can send you an invitation, so keep your imaginations going. Area 51 What is in Area 51? 
According to popular culture, the United States Air Force Base in Nevada is referred to as Area 51. What happens there is highly classified, although the government claims that it's only a military base used for monitoring purposes. The people, however, are clearly dissatisfied with the response as the desert facility is completely closed to all citizens. Many conspiracy theorists think that the government is concealing alien technology and planes believed to have crashed in 1947. People have established a trend on the internet to raid the base, but don't try it because it'll almost certainly land you in prison for a long period of time. Mount Weather In all the post-apocalyptic films, there's generally a location established by the government where all the important officials go to wear off the disaster. After all, the reality isn't all that dissimilar. Have you heard about Mount Weather, a government command structure in the United States Commonwealth of Virginia that serves as the Federal Emergency Management Agency's operation center? In the event of a national calamity, the facility will serve as a significant relocation destination for the highest levels of civilian and military officials. For many years, the location was a legend, and no one knew if it existed. Many fictional novels, shows, and films have all addressed it. The above-ground support facilities, which employ 240 people and are located on a 434-acre mountain location on the border of Loudoun and Clark counties, include approximately a dozen buildings that provide communications links to the White House Situation Room. As is customary, the wealthy are sorted. Uluru Uluru, commonly known as the Ayers Rocks, is a massive sandstone formation in Australia's heartland. Uluru is a well-known natural feature in Australia that has been a popular tourist attraction since the late 1930s. The location is both a beautiful natural site and a highly spiritual one. Climbing was prohibited at the location due to its association with clever people. The spiritual folk stated that any rude tourists who visited the location would be cursed because of its hallowed nature. People began claiming their poor luck after visiting the region as a result of the assertion. Some even went back to the location just to get rid of the curse. The rock rises 1,142 feet above the surrounding desert plain to 2,831 feet above sea level. It changes color according to the position of the sun and is most visually impressive around sunset when the sun's rays turn it a flaming orange red. And now let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. Today's subscriber pick is a picture of warped trees called Slope Point, which is a remote spot on the southernmost part of New Zealand's South Island, where intense Antarctic winds relentlessly pummel the area. It was named an artistic canvas by nature. Snake Island Ilha de Quemada Grande, also known as Snake Island, is located off the coast of Brazil, almost 93 miles from downtown Sao Paulo. For a very good reason, the island has remained untouched by humans. According to researchers, there are one to five snakes per square meter on the island. The snakes feed on the many migrating birds that utilize the island as a resting stop. The Brazilian Navy has made it clear that no one is allowed to visit the island. Many gruesome deaths have been reported by the authorities. A fisherman ventures onto the island unintentionally to collect bananas. He is, of course, bitten. He made it back to his boat, where he fell victim to the snake's poison almost immediately. Later, he was discovered in a large pool of blood on the boat's deck. Nowadays, a person needs legal permission from the Brazilian Navy to visit the island. North Sentinel Island, India North Sentinel Island is one of the Andaman Islands, an Indian archipelago in the Bay of Bengal, which also includes South Sentinel Island. It is home to the Sentinelese, an indigenous people in voluntary isolation who have defended, often by force, their protected isolation from the outside world. North Sentinel Island's Sentinelese tribe is said to have lived there for almost 60,000 years. It is also one of the world's last communities to stay completely isolated from the outside world. There was a story of two fishermen whose boats drifted to the North Sentinel Island in 2006, where the Sentinelese slaughtered them. Other stories of the tribe throwing arrows at passing aircraft have surfaced since then. Because the Sentinelese have never been exposed to the viruses to which others have developed resistance, any contact with outsiders may be fatal. Thus, the Indian government has decided 
not to try and has banned people from going on the Sentinel Island. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you next time.